Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my February favourites for 2016. I, yeah, I can't believe it's already end of February. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you what I've been loving in Feb, so let's get into it. So first thing I want to start off with is this MAC Primer. This is the Prep and Primer Natural Radiance Base Lumiere. Now I've I bought this like three years ago and um, I think uh, this was my one of my first MAC purchases and I love it. This is a yellow based um, primer. Yellow as in like the, so I'll show it to you in the back of the hand, it, it comes out yellow and it's lotion. So I just rub it in and it's a very nice subtle glow. It sinks into the skin really quickly. It's very thin, not too thick, and it smells okay. Not like plants. So, I don't know, half my primers smell like plants and this doesn't, so I'm really happy about that. Um, I love it. It's It gives you a radiant glow and it's not glittery or shimmery. I really like it. It looks yellow, but when you rub it in, it's not yellow, so yeah. I really love this primer and I've been using it a lot in February because I was just going through my primers and I was like I haven't used this for a while and I've been using this two weeks straight. So next thing I want to talk about is a sunscreen. This is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios XL Fluid. This is the ultra light fluid in SPF 50 plus and I love it so much. It is like you can hear it, it's so watery. Um, which is kind of scary and you're like, hold on, why is sunscreen watery? But it's literally like fluid, it, it's like water. It drips and it, it's very watery, um, but it's really, really lightweight. Like literally, that's it. I wear it under makeup and it doesn't feel heavy at all. I've got oily skin and I don't like many layers because it's just too thick on the face and kind of um, clogging but this is amazing and I love it so much so um, yeah this is broad spectrum as well and non-perfume paraben free sensitive skin blah blah love it love it love it love it the next thing is a lip balm and this is the Nooks River de Miel um, lip balm this is in a jar um, I think this is like the 25th anniversary packaging or something like that um, but yeah I've been loving it uh, you just need a little bit a little bit goes a long way it's quite a thick thick lip balm I like using this at night time or before I apply like matte lips I like to put it to prep for it um, and it really hydrates my lips and um, repairs it throughout the night um, so yeah I've been loving this next thing is a brow product and this is the Maybelline brow satin and I'm in the shade dark brown they have three shades blonde medium brown and dark brown and I've been loving this so much I've been wearing this like three weeks straight and I've been getting compliments from at least like every second day um, from customers at work they're like what are you wearing on your eyebrows it looks so good well this, this is it um, so what this is um, it's a retractable brow pencil on one side it's quite thin and on the other side there's actually powder so you open it there's powder actually in this cap and the tip of this applicator is uh, it's a sponge foamy applicator and it like kind of goes up and down um, so if you need more product you got to dip it back in you get it and then you just put powder on it's super easy if you want that soft brow look I fill it in and I use the powder and it gives that soft look so I've been really loving this next two things are brushes um, I've been loving this they're the same brushes one's really dirty one's not this is the real technique setting brush and I love this for so many reasons I like applying concealer with this I like setting my under eye concealer with this I like applying highlighter with this um, these are just beautiful brushes that's why I've got two I love it love it so much and I want to buy a lot more when I do an order on iHerb I'll 
buy another one so I'll kind of keep stocking up that way but I love it it's just small and petite does a lot of things so I really like you can even contour with this you can do whatever you want cream blush love it really nice brushes I've been loving the Bioderma micellar water this is the original micellar water this is actually my second bottle um, and I'm nearly out of it of this one as well I haven't repurchased this one I bought the oily skin one the sebum CBM whatever that's called the blue one um, I haven't tried it yet I'm just waiting to finish this up the only thing is you can use this on the eyes whereas the the oily skin one you can't use it on the eyes but I, I love this one, the original one. I'm definitely going to update you guys on my, the other one, if I like it or not. But uh, so far, this has been my favourite. I love this over my Garnier as well. I really love this one. I've been using my Becca Champagne Pop a lot this month. Um, last month. Um, it is a lovely highlighter. It's a champagne peachy white gold um, highlighter this is what it looks like you just need a tiny little bit and you will be glowing I love this so much yeah it's just a beautiful highlighter I love it for blush I've been loving the Clinique Chic Pop blush pop in the shade number four plum pop there's a lot of pops but it's a beautiful blush. It's a nice subtle blush. It's not too pigmented, which I like in a blush because then you're not putting too much on your face. Um, I love the packaging. I love the detailing, the engraved um, flower. It's so, so pretty. Um, it's a really nice color for my skin tone. It's a deep purpley pink color. I love it. And I want to buy all the other pop blushes. So that's my Plum Pop and I've been loving that. So last two things are my lip products that I've been loving and they're both from the same brand and they're both like same type. Um, so these are the Revlon Color Burst Balms. Um, this is the Balm Stain in the shade 1 Honey and it is a really nice subtle medium pink color. It's a neutral pink. It's like a nudey pink color um, I love it it's a glossy type of color um, it it gives a lot of color and it suits all skin tones I love scraping this um, and using my lip brush to apply it because it delivers more color like this is already a lot more color but when I use a lip brush and I apply it um, it's just full color it's, it, it's really really nice very comfortable on the lips smells minty feels minty on the lips I really like it and the other one is the matte version the matte balm and this is in the shade sultry number 225 and this is a really nice deep mauvey color so it's kind of similar to honey but obviously more darker and it's a matte formula but it's not a drying matte, I really like it. It's a very comfortable matte on the lips to wear. So again, smells minty, feels feels really nice on the lips. So I really, really, really like this one. And the last thing I want to talk about is actually a fail. Well, not exactly totally fail, but kind of fail. Because um, it, it works, but it doesn't work, if you get what I mean. So um, I'm talking about the L'Oreal... False Lash Superstar Mascara. This is a new release. i um, released early this month uh, from L'Oreal. It is a replacement for one of their mascaras that they have in the blue and gold, where it had double-sided mascara, just like this. So um, one side of this is white for primer, and the other side is black for mascara, and it's got fiber in it as well. Um, I love this mascara for my top lashes, makes it really thick, long, looks really nice, but for my bottom lashes, it transfers. It transfers really badly, um, I get mascara, like, it's, it doesn't crumble, it just, the colour 
just transfers like just sticks to my under eyes I set my under eyes all the time and n like no mascara has done this to me before um, even L'Oreal mascaras that I really like um, yeah that I've used before do doesn't do it this is the only mascara that's done it and I've worn it with the foundation I normally wear the same face routine I tried different foundations and it's not the foundation it is this so I like this for my top lashes but not my bottom because yeah it transfers so it's kind of a fail but not you know but I like the mascara so the only thing is that I have to wear this on the top and then get another mascara to wear it on the bottom so but yeah other than that I like it I wouldn't repurchase it because of that reason but I like it so uh, that is it that's that's all for my February favorites. I hope you liked it. Let me know what you've been, what you loved in February. And um, leave any video suggestions down below. And I will see you guys in my next video.